Oh, hi folks, uh, acrylic, uh, I, brushes, well, here we are, brushes, old, old, much used, much abused, stuck together, worn out, well, sort of, but it doesn't really matter, you can paint with your fingers if you wish, uh, great quality brushes and tools, won't make an artist. You, you, you're an artist in your head. You paint with your head. And having said that, I'll probably proceed to mark this one up. I'm going to do a, well, have a go at uh, improvising a Cornish coastal scene. I like coastal scenes. I like, I, I just love, I love Cornwall. I've been there many, many, many times with my trailer tents and my wife and children when they were younger and when they were grown up as well. The last time I was camping in Cornwall was about two and a half years ago. Uh, and that was when we more or less gave up camping. We it got too heavy to pull up the trailer, and we had we'd had twenty six years of it, and we had some many many lovely holidays. And I just like doing Cornish impressions, the coast of course, because that is the great interest. North Cornish coast, although of course there's much beauty to be had on the South Cornish coast and Devon. I also like flat landscapes, difficult to do to make them into anything, but by, I do tend to focus on skies, I love skies, I love doing the lovely etherealness of them, the way they change, the light, and you as an artist can, can, can change it into whatever you want according to your ability. Uh, so I've got a limited palette here of um, deep yellow, yellow ochre, cadmium red, ultramarine blue and burnt sienna. Just those colours, um, uh, well I'll add burnt umber to it I think, because the burnt umber is a great colour mixed with the, uh... God my paints have all st stuck to the lid, inside the lids. Alright, let's take that off. But the, these mostly are Wilkinson's uh, the supermarket, and I'll put that there. Um, you mix with yellow ochre, it makes great sand. And I'm not sure whether this will be placid sea or whatever. I love Watergate Bay, but I'm going to go the other way for, the, for this one. Watergate Bay is a magnificent bay. One of the world's great beaches. It's in uh, near Newquay. And we've had, uh, I would say at least 12, 15 holidays with our trailers there. We've had several uh, cottages around Crantock, especially the, the, the manor house near, near the Bowgy Inn. Had that twice. Oh, it's just magnificent, magnificent. Right, okay, so I'll uh, I'll put in a bit of a headland just to, just to start, a bit of a rocky, rocky of course, I'm using a bit of PVA glue, I mean, I've just poured out the lid. It's a... Uh, Dilute PVA glue with with, with water. We'll have a, another one in here. Don't try not to to match them. We don't. Look, I've just done what I said. Don't do. But it doesn't matter. She's only in, just a drawing in stage. So we could have a bit of a on the headland up there, on the countryside there, on the cliff cliff edge, looking down or turn those into rocks I think. I don't want to make a rod for my own back. Okay, so let's that's that's a basic drawing, we'll put a horizon now. Let's have a, a low horizon. Well, lowish. Below halfway. I'm not going to use any water on this. Okay, that, that'll do for our horizon. Or we could even put a rock on there somewhere. Try to keep your horizon horizon horizontal. Uh, we'll put in a bit of bit of light. 
Sorry, I can't show the mixing, but, but we're mixing. Just a bit of cab yellow, the yellow, mid yellow, yellow deep, with some cadmium red, and stormy. Found. Oh, let's just clip my easel at the back here, otherwise it'll bang. I've just got it clipped with some bulldog clips. Oh, not bulldog, are they spring clips? Uh, let's put in a bit of cloud, so just a bit of red and blue and white, and plus that colour on the on the uh, palette. Well, I think I'll probably want the light over the over the dark rocks, don't I? Otherwise I'll have to bake the rocks light on the top. This counter change, light against dark all the time. You want the light to look light, make it, I'll put it against the dark. I've got a slightly readier hue. Don't worry about the, this is the laying in stage. Same with oil. Somebody mentioned that they, they, they found me on, uh, I wasn't lost, on YouTube and loved the fact that I was doing watercolour and oil, but I'm not doing oil at the moment because of the solvent problem, but but I will go back to oil, so whether it's uh, with uh, knife painting, but I will be doing more on uh, Patreon, so if you want to see more of my work, much more of my work, you'll need to go and log on to that and pay a little bit of money to watch it. Can't have it all for nothing, you know. But the difference between, well there's so many differences between watercolour and oil or acrylic. Uh, lean to fat with oil, uh, obviously, because it, if you lock in the, the um, if you, if you put thick on and then with oil and then go on with the light, it will dry, the surface coat will dry quicker than the underneath coat. coat. And as the, the thick paint dries, it cracks the surface. That's why you get this crazing on old masters. But if you paint thick and work into fat, it, it certainly gates itself. But if you're working wet in wet, as I do, it doesn't make, it make any difference can paint as thick or thin as you like because it's all wet but don't paint over it until it's really dry I don't like that that sort of color I think it's just a little bit bit too too yellow you know what I mean I'll, I'll get some lemon yellow which I've got uh, here another Wilco's Wilkinson's own brand water-based water-based plastic uh, oh, the tube plastic. Acrylic paint, yeah, uh, lemon yellow. I don't really like like lemon yellow, but I've got it, so I'm going to... So oh, you... Oh, dear, that's going to have me, me, me penny. Hold on while I clean myself up. Yeah. Take a palette knife. And scrape it off. Waste not, what not. Put that on there. On my table, I've got a table, uh, well, an improvised tabletop, wood of wood from an old wardrobe, which I balance on my box easel. I just pull a drawer out and balance it, and it makes a very versatile arrangement. It means I can do watercolours, acrylic, and oils with one easel. I can paint upright, I can paint flat, but. Um, I don't stand uh, to, to paint, I, I'm, a, I'm lazy, I, I like to sit down. Let's try that. Oh, that's a bit better. No, we're not in. Right, uh, sort that out. Get some uh, 
red and blue, more red than blue. Could just put in some cloud. Okay, we'll let that go for a minute. Change the brushes, put a bit of bit of sea colour. Now, good sea colour. Well, I want the sea to blend in with the background. So, what we don't want is a hard edge along there, a hard line between the sky and the sea. So, blue, red, the white, and then that's a hard line, but. When we do the sky, we bring the sky over that because this will dry ferociously quickly. And a little bit of yellow to that. A little bit of this and that. So don't try to do a finished picture with, with this to start with. Work your way into it slowly. Just put paint on and then you can adjust it later. So we'll have a clever sort of high tide. All right, uh, we'll put in some little highlights. A bit of sky colour, we don't want white white, just slightly off white. Out here maybe. That. Just a bit of roughy stuff around the base of the cliff. I'm going to put in a little bit of beach there down the bottom here. So white, yellow ochre, a bit of umber. Trouble is with, with all this, you put it out on your palette more than you actually use. And a lot of it gets sort of wasted. Go over the, uh, the water's edge. Okay, so bring the water, the, the sea, as the little uh, ripples come in, some of this will reflect the sky. Oh, just a bit of modelling on the old cliff there. Uh, now, what would probably be a good idea is to use a knife. Uh, with loads of knives. I'll just use that one. That nice all. And remember, I, I, I clean it on on um, kitchen just towel, which I buy in <coughs> large rolls. But when you do that, to take the paint off, don't do that because these knives wear themselves very thin, and they are razor sharp, and you will cut yourself. So be warned. Right, so let's just put in a bit, of, bit, bit of red and blue and yellow. Get a darker. Oh. I'll use both yellows in this. I love, I love painting with a knife. You can paint with your brushes, you can paint whatever you like. We'll get a bit hard edge there. So when we do, see, because it, the acrylic dries so quick, it, you, you can Get in, rough it in, and then you can move somewhere else. And by the time you go back to it, you can paint over it or whatever. But better try to work to a finish, I think. Otherwise, you, when this dries, you'll have a lot of hard edges. Oops, sorry, I'm knocking the camera in. A little bit of. I'm going to 
dark on that edge there. So that, that looks interesting already. Good palette grey. So we'll get some yellow ochre, some white, a bit of umber. Start putting some of the light stuff in the uh, cliff. Show the strata. Different colour, bit, um, bit of sienna, burnt sienna. Through the mix. So we want light, light against the shadow of the rock behind. That's right. Okay. And we can have some greenery in here coming down into those. Rocky areas, same there. And that didn't go right. Okay, so let's just go behind that uh, light edge and put some dark red and blue. to use black. I do like that, but I've resisted the temptation with this. <clears throat> so I'm going to mix up the grey now. Just the red, red and blue and white. The cheaper colours that I'm using, pardon me, the uh, artist quality ones, are quite thin. But then they're only two pounds a tube. Not quite light now. There's a bit of uh, ochre with it. Get the white. Ooh, yeah. dark on the rocks down below because show that where the, the, the waves of the water has covered the rocks with sea light. You get used to remixing the colours, but then with the knife painting, you want lots of colour, you don't want it all drab. Have a bit of, bit of brown in there, a bit of umber. Yeah, this is drying very quickly now. Got to sort out in there, so we want a bit of a bit of dark. Oh, let's get that get that light in there. All right, 
That'll do, that separates it a little bit. So we're we'll getting some nice darks now. I haven't used much for the number other than for the for the, the sand, but that's not right yet. Over this with a brush, and it's dry, of course. Give me something to counter change with. Mixing the three primaries together, you can get some gorgeous uh, greens. It's very, very exciting, isn't it? Uh, we can put some uh, little wavelets going up in, in that. Let's just get, that, that, get a rock up there. I haven't primed it at all, I've just painted straight on it. But it's all waterproof once it's dry. Because it's plastic. Right, let's get a bit of light in there. The weather's deteriorated for what it was last week. Oh, just catching a bit of light there. Let's get a bit of pallet muck. Okay. <coughs> Right, now something's happening there. Don't know what, but it's a bit of green, yeah? I like to mix red with my greens. Gives them a bit of, bit of character. Oh, we can have some trees on there. Have a bit of dark, real good dark. Three primaries. Red, blue and yellow. Push on the top there. So if I'm in your way, but I can't help that. Take your trees or what's on the edge to take it off the edge so that it's behind the mount. Otherwise, it looks as if you're trying to fill in. Right, let's get a bit of, bit of light yellow now. Slightly greeny. Getting a bit of light there. Okay. That doesn't look too bad. Uh, need a bit more character in, in that there though. Like some layers. I just create the impression of layered rock which you get in Cornwall or get anywhere. Okay, I'm not going to do any more than that. Let's, uh, 
work on the C a bit now. Uh, I would say all these were knife paints in one way. There's a bit of grain on this paper. It's a Fabriano, not that it matters. Yeah, I was going to do one thing and I've ended up doing another. Bouncy a bit. The wetness in the paper, in the paints, has sort of expanded the paper somewhat. Let's just clip it up there. That nice but it's getting stiff now, but. Headband, got some nice sort of breakers. Turn it up. Oh, I've got some darker blues in there now. Greeny blues. So, yellow oak is good. With the bit of ultramarine, a bit of white. Get some more. Realistic sea, sea colour, more than I know. This might be getting a bit lumpy now, so I might have to finish with the brush. Any old colours in there now, reflecting the sky, which we'll put in a minute. Going uphill a bit, a bit there. I'll go, go back to the sky with the brushes. Because all once well, it's dry, you can do what you like with it. And I forgot to drink my tea. Oh, no. Because I got carried away. All right, okay. Let's get in some. So we've got a light of dark here, so we need a bit of, bit of light. A bit of light. Get some. Yellow worker in there, I think. The red. Soften everything. By, as, you, as you continue to paint over the dry, you get a nice dry brush. You get texture on the paper, on, in the paints. A bit of burnt sienna, burnt sienna in there. Oh, nice. Uh, I don't know. Don't like that.
you just going over the edge of that of the ocean. White there, but going over that underpainting. We're going to bring the sky into the water and the water into the sky. I right, get some shadowy colour now. Right, the little clouds. Bit of, an, a bit of an off grey there. More colour the better. Let's reduce that one. And I'll get some heavier <coughs> overhead. I've got a bit of um, grease proof paper on the board. Let's get some, get some variety in this now. You can paint as thick or thin as you like. It won't make any difference to the acrylic. Go on the red side. But I want dark. Yeah, I've ruined it now, haven't I? Don't bring that back. Just mix them with a bit of medium here. A bit of red. I did a series in oil where I painted the skies very dark, but it gave me a lot of opportunity to add the light clouds, create light out of nothing. Right. <coughs> we want some, some of that colour, but very light. I would normally prime this paper with some PVA glue both sides. Reinstate that horizon a little bit. Lost and found. Oh no, that's lost. Go over the edge. Merge, merge, merge. Okay, that'll do, that's a bit better. We'll change that colour, it's just a bit too dark, I think. But now we want to go in with the lights now, so yellow ochre I'm using. Is that dry there? Yeah, that's dry. See, the paint on the palette is dry. We are dummy mixing. No, that's too, too, too yellow ochre. It's an artist quality, that's why. So this is the beauty of, uh, of acrylic. You can't compare it with oil, with oil mediums, like I was using some beautiful walnut oil. I will have another go, but it's a bit risky. But, uh, you can have just as much fun with the acrylic as you can with, with uh, the oil. It's, it's just different. 
Well, it's it's not as good, of course. I wouldn't ever say that it was a, a substitute for oil. It's a different. It's different. Behaves differently. Now, <coughs> compared to watercolor, well, you can't compare it with watercolor. It's a totally different medium. You've just got to learn to. to adapt to the style. It's no good trying to do an oil do, a, do an oil painting with watercolour. In other words, putting too much detail in kills a picture. In my mind. And I've killed a few. There, we've got a sky there. Oh, just a bit more red. Just Add some colour in this sort of semi. Oh, you could just keep working at it until you get it. But the joy is that it was so blooming quick that you're with it. All right. Uh, just this guy, some of that. Just coming up to that darker cloud colour. And some little clouds sort of wafting across. It's why I like that. No, I don't. So we'll just. Just take that and get that uh, light undercloud colour. Cool shadow. They get smaller as you're going out with, down to the horizon. And a bit more of that dark there, I think. Not too dark though. Few greys. Now, don't look. Make this look like you're fitting it in between other shapes. It, it's like having two trees. Oh, what? What should we put in? Oh, let's put a cloud in. Cloud right in between the trees. You think? Oh, that's all right. Do none of those. And then you've got three three clouds all the same because you've tried to put it in. Make your clouds go behind trees or go behind other other stuff. So let's just work a bit on that water now before we start doing that foreground. Um, see how quickly you change? But I want light, some lights in there as well. But you need to surround your lights with darks, otherwise they don't look very dark. So let's uh, 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 I'm tempted to, to, to paint over these because um, it's, uh, I think I will. So let's put a beach in there, so a bit of burnt burnt sienna, lump of yellow ochre. So let's just, just cover that. I need some more white. Um, I've got a big pot of white here, look. That's uh, half a litre. It's not cheap, but you, you do need a good white. One with a bit of covering power. No good using cheap cheap stuff for that. Now, where did I go with my... Oh, there we go. I was looking for where I... I'm only out of space on the palette. I'll put a bit of red in there. Just cover it. Might put a rock in the beach. Mm. 
we'll have a bit of a shadow there. There's a bit of blue in blue with that as well. So that's the, sh that's the shadow of that rock. So now we want the light on the other side. Watergate Bay, eh? Is this in boy? This is a Watergate Bay. This is any old bay, every man's bay. Let's get some nice sandy water in here and put in some of the sky reflections in it. And we're coming into the darker stuff here. Umber, a bit of blue with that and a bit of white. Just dry brushing over this. Now we've got some nice greys in there, so we'll put those in. And those nice lights. Bit of dark. Reflections of of these uh, So that is the uh, reflection of the cliff in the, the wet sand, but I've got to do more of that wet sand, so I'll put some ripples on it in a minute. But I want those nice light colours. in those clouds. Okay folks, if you like what I do, there's plenty more of this on Patreon. I hope you're going to support me in it. I'm making this up, I'm not working from anything. Got my little brush with this. I'm 
on the top, under that. rock in there. There's some little white caps. Okay, now um, Maybe a rock back there, just to balance over there. So nice grey, warm grey, so yellow oak, a bit of red, plenty of white, a bit of yellow in there. We don't want portraits of anything in this. But it's got to look rocky, so let's we want grey rather than anything else. I got a bit carried away with the uh, with the ochre. Dark, ultramarine and burnt umber are good bedfellows for darks. I can't look convinced about that. Uh, and maybe we'll have some some sort of sea grass. Coming up there, oh, that's good. I've got this old brush, the old Chinese brush that is lovely for, for that sort of thing. Uh, so when in doubt, lift it out. Marum grass in the June. What do I change? Okay, let's get some dark greens in there now. I'm not painting them individually. Brush. and put in a bit of shadowy during and a bit of light there and a bit of darker 
June, and the shadow. So it was a good shadow colour with this uh, burnt umber. Right, okay. Uh, I want to just lighten up that foreground on the right now, a little bit with the <coughs> with some June colour. I mean June with some sand colour. So we'll uh, just use the low company red, maybe and see what it looks like. My favourite brush is this old brush here. That's most of it's here, as have I. Placidness. And put in those dark shadows. Ref shadows, yeah, shadows reflection. Okay. Not the best I've done in a while, but uh, um, I don't really like that shape there. That is for sort of just copying the one behind it. This is what you have to look out for. So we'll put a bit of How's that on the screen? It's probably a bit light, but putting a bit of a bit of dark in there. So when I finish painting, I can just roll this piece of paper up and stick in the bin. Okay, I tried to create a, an impression of a headland. I've, I'm not happy with that horizon yet, really. I just want that bit, it's too pink. Now just put that light blue grey back in there. Okay, let's just oops, sorry about the clothes. There on the background. With a few more, just a few more darks in there. Oh, 
Okay, that'll do. I can't do any more to it than that. Uh, I'll put it in the mound. Uh, let's see. I'll have to move my camera back so you'll see it in the mound. Uh, no, just like that. Bit, bit, of mask, or bit of masking tape. Just to hold it. And see, you know, it's dry really. It's, uh, in about 10 minutes, I could, I could give it a couple of coats of that PVA glue, which would be a varnish. Makes a fa fantastic varnish. You don't need to buy great mediums. Mm, no, let's have, dark, let's have the blue mount. Or the blue grey mount. <coughs> uh, right, that leaves a bit, bit of sorting out there. So let's put the clip in. A couple of clips. I'm going to do that. Put one down the bottom. Right, got a brush. I'm just, I'm just going to see if I can just bring that light down and a touch. Because I think it's because there's a lump in the paper there. Oh, I've got that blue back under there. No, I don't want to play for it. Okay, oh, that's a little bit. No, I didn't really. That's a bit better. Okay, folks, well, I hope you let's move this back. It's very professional, isn't it? Right, there we go. So there is an amount. So I'll put the, this to cover up a bit of rubbish. It's very rough. It's a, it's a rough impression, but but the sky makes it really. I love skies. That still goes up in it. Up in it. Uh, I could easily alter that. Just just move the mount down a bit. <coughs> Can put a couple of figures in, but I don't think that that would help it. It's a, it's a, a rough paint, an impression, rough impressionist painting, of uh, North Cornwall. My idea of it, anyway. Uh, this was painted very well, very quickly. If one thing didn't work, I didn't like it. It's very quick to change. That is the joy of acrylic. That brush is going hard because I left it out of water. Silly me. I'll give them a good wash and I'll clean them in soap afterwards. Okay, folks, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.